Oh, good. Everyone will like that. Remember when- Remember, when remember we everyone? If it falls on eat ass, then you have to eat my ass. It's true. Come on, give me the big box! I'm just kind of like eating it. Oh, whoa! Brian! You have to eat my ass! Everyone's favorite game show! Today, uh, we are- Brian's here. Look at him. Hey, what's up? It's Look me. at him. Look at his areolas. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we love? We love our communities. It's true. We love the people that watch our things. And we love the people that create things. That's why we're going to Wattpad.com, the main site for what, Brian? Just up and coming writers who are great at their craft. We're looking at fanfiction of, our, of ourselves. It's true. There's a specific one, Cranky Vor 2988. I like that one's titled Oops. <laughs> As if any of it could be a mistake. <laughs> okay, wait. You said this one, Serial Crank Serial Gameplays. Is, is the fan favorite. Look at how many views Serial it has. Serial Crank Gameplays and Gerbigly Vor one shot. All right, I, I have to preface this that the only reason I know about this is because of my Twitch community. Wait, are so you saying that this- seven of those are probably- Are you from saying my... that that's a lot? I think this one has 248,000 raids. Yeah, all right. Well, when I'm included- 276. That drops by two digits. Thousand What's your point? reads. <laughs> I'm just saying that people have written some, some fan fiction on here that a ton of people have read. Yeah, and what which I'm is saying crazy. is start putting me more it, also, it kill, kill me in them. I'm not trying to shame. I'm not being like, oh, this is not. I'm just saying that, like, I don't want to come up. Look at me. I'm not coming off as ungrateful. Am I? That's the last thing. I'm just saying that people have made some stories on here that have had so many people read them. But now this one might. Yeah. This Go on to uh, uh, wapat.com slash user slash cranky42988 mm -hmm. and check out Serial, Crank Gameplays, and Gerby Lee Vor one shot. Number 46 in Serial. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? I'm so excited. We're going to read this. Look at this. Crank Gameplays and Gerby Lee Vor one shot. Vor. I like that it's a one shot. It's not an ongoing oh, series. This is so much reading. This is the this most is I've lot. ever read. That's not that much, actually. <laughs> Wait, is this the whole thing? I don't know. I've never read it. All right, Brian, we have to All do right. this. Seductively. Ready? So you gotta get real close to the mic when it's your turn to read, okay? Oh! Do you want to be the narrator, or do you want me to be the narrator? I, I think it's only a narrator. This oh. looks like we'll, just we'll, scanning We'll through. trade off every paragraph. Every paragraph. That sounds good. And if there's any- Guys, we always okay. have a plan. Okay. Brian was over in LA visiting Ethan for a week. God, it's oh gonna happen. Oh my god, it's now! <laughs> so fulfilling. So they could make videos and talk in person. <laughs> <laughs> Since they only really see each other at conventions. Mm -hmm. Ethan and Brian were sharing the were sharing the one bed Ethan had in his apartment, which was nothing new or weird since they've done it so many times before. It's true. Brian woke up from a loud crash of thunder outside. He shot up in in bed and looked around. It was 7 a.m. and Ethan was still fast asleep. Another loud crack sounded, and the light from the electricity glowed over Ethan's face, revealing his face. <laughs> He had his eyes open, but he was <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> That's a good detail. It's true. Brian knew this was normal. <laughs> Not, nothing of it. All right, that's my favorite detail so far. Brian was hungry, and there was no point in going back to bed, so he went out to the kitchen to get himself some cereal. He opened the cupboard to reveal two boxes of open Fruit Loops. Brain chose the more <laughs> full box and just ate right out of it. No bowl needed. Cereal tasted stale but thought nothing of it. Brian took the box with him and laid on the couch and scrolled through his phone until he passed out. Sounds like me. Brian woke up to the sound of a large booming footsteps and jumped awake. He couldn't see anything. He was laying on a bed of weird and crusty objects, but it smelled fruity. Brian could hear Ethan shouting for his name and it was so loud that Brian had to cover his ears. Brian panicked and didn't know what to do. Brian blacked out in a panic and flopped over into his cage of Fruit Loops. <laughs> his cage? How did I get here? <laughs> Ethan spotted a slightly open box of Fruit Loops and Brian's phone on the couch. He went over to investigate and Brain's phone was dead. Ethan opened the box without thinking anything and took a handful of cereal out and pooped it into his mouth. <laughs> he chewed and swallowed and almost choked when he felt a large piece go down his throat. Wonder what that large piece was. Whoa. After a small gag, he put the box away and continued looking for his friend. Brian woke up in an extremely humid and stinky room. <laughs> Couldn't see anything. 
It smelled disgusting. His whole body was burning. He heard the echoes of his friend around him as he screamed his name. Brian realized what had happened. He was sad and confused. Brian didn't know what hit him. Ethan would never know what happened to his dear friend and would never see him. Again. That was the whole thing. That was great. That was really well done. I like the part where you spelled my name brain. <laughs> Down the hat. I think this is the same author if I'm going to be. It is. It is. It is. It is. Down the hat. Frankie Four. 2988, big fan. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this oh, is, this oh, is big bam. Oh, this is actually parts. In it. Oh, and All this right. one too has dialogue. Nice. I'll do the narration in my voice and you do and, your voice. Oh, okay. I only get brain. <laughs> it was an hour before the signing. Nathan was very nervous. Brian was calm as usual, but because he had a plan in store. This was their third indie popcon together. But that still doesn't make Ethan's nerves go away after doing these so many times. You okay, dude? You look really nervous. Yeah, I, I'm okay. Just spooked. Why is that? I don't know. I just had a really bad dream last night. I just hope it doesn't happen. About? Ah, uh, it's stupid. You would just be weirded out anyway. Ethan, I'm your best friend. Oh. You can tell me anything, even if it's stupid. That's why we're friends. Promise not to be weirded out? I think you promise. Oh, okay. Well, I had a dream that you ate me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, this Brian is looked good. surprised, and his face paled a little. Oh, Ethan, I would never. How would I be able to do that anyway? That's impossible. <laughs> I know, it's always just been a fear of mine to be eaten. <laughs> well, you better get over it soon. The signing starts in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get over the fear, but I need to start getting ready. Ethan went into the bathrooms. After Ethan was out of sight, I pulled out a small glowing bottle. You better get real used to it soon, egg boy. I'll be the star of this signing. Ryan poured the potion into Ethan's bottle of water that was sitting on the table backstage of the signing. The fans could be heard talking amongst themselves and saying references of the channels loudly. Ethan comes back from the bathroom and immediately takes a sip of his water. Ryan looks pleased with himself. Why does my water taste funny? Ryan smirked. Ethan began to slowly get shorter. Even shorter than Brian. <laughs> got dunked on really hard. What the hell? I'm I'm shrinking. Brian laughed evilly and teased him. Ha ha! <laughs> now you're shorter than me. Ethan stopped shrinking until he was about three to four inches tall. Brian towered over him and bent over on his knees to get a good look at him. Brian gave Ethan another smirk and grabbed him in a fist. Brian, what are you doing? Please. Don't hurt me! Brian didn't say anything and stuffed him into his shirt pocket fastly. A staff member walked by and told Brian there was ten minutes until the signing was about to start and asked where Ethan was. He replied, Ethan said he went to the bathroom about five minutes ago. He should be back any minute. The staff member nodded and walked off. Brian checked to see if there was anyone nearby and took Ethan out from his pocket. Ethan was crying. He looked up at his ginormous friend and begged him to change him back. Brian, how could you? I just told you were my this was my biggest fear. Put me down. The signing starts soon. <laughs> Brian didn't say a word, but lifted Ethan close to his face and opened his mouth, his large teeth filling Ethan's view. Ethan began to panic and squirm in Brian's grasp. Brian! Ethan could not finish his sentence before he was stuffed into Brian's mouth, his whole body being sucked into his gaping maw. Ethan struggled and cried out, hoping his friend would stop. Brian took no chance of Ethan escaping and tilted his head back and swallowed. He could feel Ethan going down his throat and sighed in relief. The staff members couldn't find Ethan. They informed Brian that he was nowhere to be found. Brian went out of the signing stage and met everyone in line. People were confused as to why Ethan was not there, but Brian explained that nobody could find him. He was probably sick in his hotel room. Brian will miss his friend, but will always remember that Ethan is now part of him. <laughs>
It's beautiful, dude. I mean, technically, you wow. were at the signing. That, I was at the you, sign. You I didn't. You guys didn't belly. miss a thing. Yeah, that was a good one because I got to eat you. I know. And we kept it fair. Thank you very much to my number one fan fiction fan out there, Cranky Board Two Nine Eight Eight. I do feel included. Actually, you be the narrator for oh. this. Oh, I was just right. the narrator. That's true. Don't, we'll keep it don't dem let me, democratic. Don't let me. Don't Ooh. don't let me. It all started when Brian went to sleep, being due to having stomach pains. He was visiting his dear friend Ethan in LA for the week again. So he was bummed. He had to waste a night that he could have spent with him. Well, Brian went to sleep. Ethan, Morgan, and Catherine sat on the couch and began binging Harry Potter. Brian tossed and turned as he slept, and the feeling of his gut squeezing was unbearable. When he opened up his eyes, he noticed the bed B was in looked way bigger than before. Had he shrunk? That's not possible. He also thought. He opened his eyes without the film of sleep on his eyes. He got a big look around at the giant familiar room before him. Yeah, this is very factual. I remember this. They've been watching I remember us. This. He could hear familiar zaps of wands in the distance, only they were booming in his ears. Boom! Everything seemed way louder. He couldn't believe what had just happened. Oh my God, that was so loud. Louder. That was, that's for you viewers. That's a bonus. Some people pay for that. Was he dreaming? Did he had a stroke? Does the truth come out? He didn't know, but decided to explore. Brian made his way to the edge of Ethan's bed, which was covered in dog hair, making it impossible to move in. The dog hair smelled bad, and now so did Brian. That's pretty mean. Spencer's a very clean boy. He is a clean He's boy. He's a clean he boy. How dare no. you? Brian looked down onto the ground and saw the big drop. Do you remember the big drop? Dude, the big drop of 87. Where were you when the big drop happened? Saw the big drop and noticed there was a dog bed on the ground and decided to make a leap of faith. He landed just fine. There was more dog hair, but that's better than dying. <laughs> it's true. That's, you can't fight that logic. That is better than dying. It's true. There, uh, he made the long walk into the hallway and could see the distant TV and everyone he knew on the couch, or on the cough, I guess. He <laughs> did not want anyone to know he was like this, so so he decided to keep walking. I'm so sorry if anyone's watching this and now knows I'm like this. Do you want to read some? This is sure, like sure. a long one. <laughs> he heard a large bark coming from behind him. He forgot what? about Spencer. As cute as he is, he looked terrible from where he was. <laughs> Brian was only three inches tall, and Spencer was big. I lost half my height. Brian couldn't do anything but run, and Spencer barked and chased after him. Brian ran all the way into the garage until he saw an opportunity. There was a door that had a big enough space underneath that he could slip into. He decided to run towards it. He went as fast as possible and slid. He made it until he felt himself hurling down a flight of stairs. He was in a lot of pain, but when he opened his eyes, what he saw was a bright blue light. Almost neon. He was in Ethan's recording room. It was finally quiet, except for the distant barks of Spencer. Brian decided to get up, despite how badly his body hurt from the stairs. He might have a concussion. Concussion. That's a new he one. He decided to climb up Ethan's desk because why not? <laughs> <laughs> it was better than being crushed with Ethan's nasty toes, <laughs> which might not be so bad. <laughs> he climbed all the way up and sat uh, on what looked like a Sorry, plush of his old toes. channel's m mascot, Gizmo. He hadn't heard that name in a long time. Brian was finally able to close his eyes and rest until he heard more barking. Ethan's voice from the top of the steps, his eyes shot open and watched as Ethan came down the stairs with Spencer following him from beyond. Ethan looked around until he saw an object on his desk but looked out of place. He focused his eyes to see that it was Brian. He was happy. He had been waiting for an opportunity to destroy him like this <laughs> since they had become friends. Ethan forcefully grabbed Brian in his fist and brought him close to his face. Ethan, please! Put me down, I love you! <laughs> I thought we were friends. No. <laughs> I've been waiting for an opportunity like this, and I won't let it get away from me. Ethan, please, why are you doing this? Brian was now sweating profusely, which made him smell both of sweat and dog. He was... <laughs> he was putrid. Why not? I have no specific reason. I just really don't like you. Jesus, dude, is this the way we find out <laughs> about each other's deep, dark secrets? Why did you take me to Universal Studios? 
Then I would have more money from my brand deal. <laughs> <laughs> now enough! It's time to end this. Brian. Screams and sweats. Ah! <laughs> Ethan loosened his grip and moved Brian so that he was spitting palm up in his sitting palm up in his hand. Brian was cowering and crying. Ethan popped him into his mouth like you would an M&M. &M. Brian tried to grasp his tongue and reach out, but his mouth was too strong. <laughs> Brian <laughs> was being pushed to the back of Ethan's throat, and his Ooh. last and as a last ditch effort, grabbed his uvula. Ethan gagged a little, but managed to swallow him down. Brian could feel himself being squeezed into the darkness and warmth, while Ethan could taste his salt and had dog hair residue in his mouth. Ethan was pleased. Brian was now on Ethan's stomach, with only one way out. But he would be dead before he would ever get out. Jeez. Ethan smiled to himself and patted his belly. Oh, oh, oh. He felt his old friend kicking and punching from inside him. He ignored it, went back upstairs to the living room, sat back down on the couch and resumed watching Harry Potter. Okay. What's that all about? Seems a good oh, impression. nothing. Just a squirrel. Okay. Nobody would ever know what happened to Brian, except for Ethan, of course. Morgan searched for months. Most of his fan base was extremely murried, worried. <laughs> Ethan knew the truth and was proud of it. The end. Author's note. Sorry I haven't been active. School has been busy and I just got off. Hoping to write more soon. Write suggestions for my next story in the comments. That's you, viewers at home. That's you, viewers at home. If you want to see more of me being swallowed and sweaty and putrid. That's right, that's right, that's right. Leave a like. Also, want to mention, we're not at all, like, making fun of yeah. this person. We think that these stories are just kind of funny because it's, like, me or Brian we wanting us to kill each other. Yeah. Specifically in the Vor way, it was it's just, just kind of hilarious. Happened. Yeah. Uh, and also, this is some of the only fanfic of Brian and I together. So, hey! Go out there, Gerb. It's a dangerous thing. Beagly. Everything is cursed as it is. So go out there. That's true. Write all of your fan fiction about us and really let your creative juices loose. Possibly literally. Literally? Ah! <laughs> it's been a pleasure.